update four on major hurricane Bud, which is moving towards the northwest, slowly edging away from the coast of southwestern Mexico. At 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, June 11th, it still had winds of 120 miles per hour and a pressure of 955 millibars. It's been like that for a significant chunk of today after its intensification phase last night. It's at 17 degrees north, 107.4 west, and the watches that were in effect in, in Mexico have just been lifted. However, the Baja California Peninsula may get some more, uh, may get its first warnings out in the not too distant future. You see on the uh, wind chart there, the storm's expected to get close or possibly even make landfall just as it's weakening. Uh, as a tropical storm on the tip of the Baja California Peninsula. Um, so things could get interesting over there as we enter the later part of this week. Here's where it is right now. It's a stage four on the CDPS. Extensive damage would be expected if the storm was closer to land than it currently is. And the warnings were in effect along the coast of Mexico, just up there on the top right hand side. Those warnings, watches rather, have been lifted, but the first warnings for the peninsula, the Baja California Peninsula, could arrive uh, pretty soon, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So this is what we expect over the next few days as the storm system continues towards the northwest. Um, unknown whether the storm's peaking right now or whether it's got some more left to come yet um, before it will definitely weaken as it moves off towards the northwest as uh, less favorable conditions prevail, which you'll see shortly. Uh, but it could still be, as, as mentioned, a weak, pretty weak tropical storm by the time it arrives on the peninsula and it could be a direct landfall with uh, tropical storm force winds. Here's the sea surface temperatures. They're only marginal uh, near the Baja California Peninsula, so that's going to be a little bit of a sticking point with the storm. Until then, though, it's around 27 degrees Celsius, which is certainly warm enough. Wind shear will also get to bud sooner rather than later, maybe. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, there are high wind shear amounts over the peninsula and out to sea towards the west, but over where it is right now, it's looking good. Well, here's the satellite imagery. You can quite clearly see the eye. Uh, it's somewhat shallow at the minute. It needs to deepen a little bit more if it's going to intensify. And you can see a little bit better how shallow that eye currently is on the infrared imagery. Uh, but it's certainly got the eye wall there around it, almost a donut shape that is in place and some significant cloud tops um, coming out of that as well. The west side appears to be the weakest, uh, but there is some potential to see further development and strengthening later on this evening if that eye can clear out. Dry air, not really an issue with that band to the northwest. That's all for now. You can follow 413's outlets, the website 413.com. You can also find our YouTube page, search 413, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page under the same name, and we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 if you'd like to get in touch or follow our page there. Force13 also launched a new Patreon page if you'd like to consider helping the project out, supporting it uh, as it goes even bigger and better as Alex Zaragoza and Hank Dolce has done so far. Please consider it. Take a look at the page. All contributions are invested straight back into the project. All of our updates on Bud are supported by our partners, Hypercyclone X, their Facebook page in Mexico, and they'll be providing updates in English and Spanish on their page too. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.